The mechanical device that you are looking at is known as the hydraulic lift. This device obeys a very interesting rule. It says that the pressure that you put into the system from this initial force is going to equal the pressure that comes out of the system from the second force. Larger pressures are associated with smaller areas and smaller pressures are associated with larger areas. But this machine doesn't make any sense because notice that we're saying we have a larger pressure here, a smaller pressure there, yet somehow the pressures are equal. Well, that's because we don't actually have two different pressures. Because even though the area is bigger on this side of the machine, what happens is this machine will compensate by increasing the force that's exerted upward as well. So that way the initial and final pressure are equivalent. So force two in this diagram is actually bigger than force one. And this concept can oftentimes be utilized because what you can basically do is apply less force to lift up much heavier objects. Now, even though you need to apply less force, you actually will need a greater displacement to compensate because energy has to stay conserved in a closed system. 